Hello YouTube, so this is a quick video about my experience of being a fruitarian, vegan, um, for one week, and that was last week. Um, it was <laughs> a really interesting experience. Um, basically what a fruitarian um, is, is a vegan who only eats raw food, and usually it doesn't contain grains, um, so you cut that out of your diet. Um, and there's lots of variations. There's people who do um, raw until four, so they'll eat just raw food, and it's usually mono foods, um, so large quantities of you know certain foods, um, fruits and vegetables, until four o'clock where they'll um, cook um, the fruit and veg and eat it, um, just like a regular vegan. So, I mean, I loosely followed it. I didn't do do it very strict. Actually, it was pretty strict. Um, for that week, I I pretty much stuck um, stuck to it actually. So during the days, I would eat um, completely as much as I wanted of fruit and veg, um, and it was mostly just fruit to be honest. So I would eat um, throughout the day um, things like apples, um, bananas, um, grapes, and really just as much as you want um, you can eat. So. Um, I thought I would find it really difficult, actually. Um, I thought I would be starving, but the fact you can just eat as much as you want um, of fruit, I didn't find too difficult, actually. So I would just eat um, really as much as I wanted during the day um, of things like mangoes, bananas, apples, um, which was really delicious, actually. Um, you forget how delicious these things are. and how um, lacking my diet was um, of these things before I started. Uh, I mean, I'm a typical, I was a typical meat eater, um, where I would have meat every day. And obviously, you know, um, it's the done thing now. You have meat, some people will have meat um, in some form for breakfast, lunch and dinner. When you think about it, probably their whole lives, most of their adult lives, they'll have that. Um, if they have a cooked breakfast and usually some sort of meats during lunch um, and obviously for dinner every day and our bodies aren't designed to do that it was only really up until the Victorian times um, you know later than the Victorian times because most people were incredibly poor and so um, they would have you know meat maybe once or twice a week um, you know the average working class person and especially going before the um, industrial revolution that was the case maybe meat once a week um, or even less than that they would um, survive on foraging and um, fruits um, nuts and berries um, and vegetables lots of root vegetables um, in Europe so the notion that we're meant to eat meat every mealtime is a complete fallacy it's not true we shouldn't be doing it um, it's not good for your digestion it's not good for cholesterol um, and it's not good for your health. There's been tons of studies to show that diseases are related to eating too much um, red meat and too much protein. Um, as with all things, you know, a balanced diet is, you know, what we should all be aiming for. But I, it was really an eye opener actually of, you know, seeing if I could cope without meat and I could, it was absolutely fine. Um, and not relying meat on meat, um, you know, for every mealtime. Um, I did it mainly out of health, you know, health reasons, just to see if I could improve my digestion and just to see if I could do it. And just to go against the prescribed notion of what we're meant to be eating. You go into the supermarkets and there's a huge array of, you know, things, but it is geared around eating meat and you know, everything else is just a sideline for that. Um, so, and all the offers usually are with meat and, you know, it's a meat-centric society we live in. So it was interesting just to see if you could go against that and just see if there's any, um, you know, sort of alternatives, a different way of eating. Um, I think after this week, I found it completely fine, but, and I really noticed the difference actually around my stomach, around my midsection. Um, it reduced within that week, it um, got smaller, 
Um, to begin with, I had less energy, but towards the end of the week, I was absolutely fine. And I felt really um, energetic and really lively. I really enjoyed it. Um, if I was doing it long term, I re long term, I really have to sort of invest in a juicer. I didn't have a juicer. Um, and maybe some really decent books. Um, I was inspired by Freely, the Banana Girl, as probably a lot of people know. Her videos are crazy and she's got a lot of um, haters for it, unfortunately. But um, if you go, if you watch a lot of her videos, and once you start watching, <laughs> I was really interested. I was really enthralled by them. Um, they're fantastic and really inspiring about how you can live your life um, as a vegan, as a raw till four. Um, on a raw until four diet. So look it up, it's really good. I also um, looked at a book, um, Yotam Lenghi's um, Plenty, so that's more of a vegetarian diet. Um, but it's a fantastic cookery book for um, vegans actually as well. There's some vegan recipes in there and some vegetarian, it's a vegetarian cookbook. So that's fantastic, I'll link that below. Um, I think after this week, I will probably stick to being vegetarian. I'm going to really try and see how I get on with that. Um, maybe I'll do another update. Um, I think veganism is, and especially um, the fruitarian <laughs> lifestyle, the um, raw lifestyle, is probably a bit too extreme for me. But I think vegetarianism and try and just eat fruit and vegetables cooked, because um, I enjoy cooking, um, is probably the way I'm going to go. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think everyone should ch do it as a challenge for a week and see how you get on. Um, if you do, let me know how you find it and comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye.